PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be testing two new cameras from Fox here. We have the Predator 5 Nano here, and we also have their all new T-Rex, which should have really great quality. However, in this video, I have not tested quality. I'm only testing latency, but I will be replacing uh, one of the cameras I have on a build with the T-Rex and another one with the Nano here, just to see which one has the better quality, because I'll be getting into that a bit more. And before we jump into the latency, let's just take a look at some of the things they do provide you in the packaging, just in case if you're curious. Now for the Nano here, or the Predator Nano, the Predator 5 Nano to be exact, you get an OSD remote, you also get some uh, screws and some washers, and you get a connector here. More than likely, you're going to have to end up cutting this up and then just soldering it to your flight controller here. And if we grab a closer look here, what we see is we do have a couple little extra features. We have the vSense feature, which gives you their battery voltage, and you also have a ground and an OSD, just a normal type of connection here that you could use with the on-screen display. So that's really nice. However, Runcam recently don't even send you this remote and they expect you to have it, but I doubt some new people would have it here. Now for the T-Rex here, you still get the voltage meter and you get an OSD remote section here. However, with the T-Rex here, we don't have a separate connection for the on-screen display and it's going to be uh, coming out with the connector here. So you're definitely going to want to keep this part inside your wire and not cut it off. Uh, if In case you want to play around with the on-screen display, you'll just be able to plug it right there and you should be good to go. And this makes for ease of access, especially when you're in the field and if you wanted to modify anything. Same type of connector here. This is kind of, the, in a way, the new standard for video transmitters, not really. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to see that. Anyways, you're going to end up having to cut these up and soldering them to your flight controller like usual. So let's go ahead and take a look at the testing results now. So for the first result, we're going to be taking a look at the Foxier T-Rex here. Now they're stating it has really great quality and we were, we're expecting a static, consistent latency of 2.2 milliseconds, which is insane. Really nice to see here. I love the consistency. And if you do the LED turning off, usually cameras increase in latency, but not really. What we do tend to see in the signal is the exposure levels and the contrast, trying to keep as much white in as possible in order to give you the best image quality in a way. And uh, that jumps up to 7.13 milliseconds, which is still pretty insane. So theoretically or realistically, you have 2.2 milliseconds of latency, uh, which is really, really good to see here. And um, I can't wait to actually test this out. Now, if we take a look at the second camera here, which is going to be the Predator 5 Nano, what we see here is we have a consistent latency also at 1.7 milliseconds, especially with the LED turning on. So that is our expected latency. And if you're curious, the LED turning off is 3.3 milliseconds consistently, which again is pretty insane. Now, if you wanted more details about the specs of the aspect ratio, everything is linked down below. If you could check those out, those do greatly support the channel. And I do have a 7% coupon code for you there. And on side note, if you have any issues with anything FPV related, download Ask FPV. It's available both on iOS and Android. Soon I'll be introducing chat system and also a tipping system where people could tip you if you uh, help them. So uh, it's a nice way to give back to people. It's a direct tipping system. And also, if you've missed my FPV social media platform, it's linked down below. And come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways and I try to connect with you guys as often as possible. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Everything's linked down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.